All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Hercha Hakudash, Lam Lam Yam. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach me one of these last days and who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel. I want to give a strong Shalom to all the alchemy and the four corners of the earth, who support the truth and sincerity, making the call in and election sure. And I want to give a humble salutation to the hopeful elect tuning in on the four corners of the earth, wherever, you have, wherever your habitation may be at. All right, this is Brother Mashal. Uh, come back, come back at you with a le uh, quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahab Bashim Yasha. I want to say the water Yahab Bashim Yasha, forgive me, spirit and having mercy for allowing me to teach your sheep. And um, I'm a, I was listening to uh, Apostle Gabar's uh, lesson a couple days ago. He uh, did a lesson about um, knowing the terror of the Lord. All right, so um, you know he was going in on uh, you know the terror of the Lord. You know the 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 things that the Lord does that people give credit to Hashatan, you know, all that stuff, you know, not knowing that the Most High is in control of all that, but, you know, uh, a part of that other uh, um, scripture, it goes into that knowing the terror of the Lord that we persuade men, all right, so I'm going to kind of uh, go on to that, that portion of the, uh, the scripture, so let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5. And verse 11, it says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, right, we persuade men, all right? That's what we are here doing, man. We're, we're persuading uh, men. We're not out here uh, looking for women, man, all right? Women are, uh, aren't are going to get us out of this condition, okay? It's going to take 144,000 uh, chosen men, okay? Because when we go to, uh, real quick. Now, I'm not saying that, that women are part of the elect uh, one-third, but in order for us to get out of this destruction, uh, Most High is looking for, uh, I think it's Revelation 7 or Revelation 14, 1 and 2, but the Most High is looking for 144,000 chosen men. Okay, yeah, Revelation 7. It says, um, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor on any tree. And that wind is a dark sand for the uh, for the uh, for the destruction. Okay. We read Jeremiah fifty one, I think it is. It talks about the, that destroying wind, and this is what the, the uh, these four angels on the four corners of the earth, making sure that the destruction doesn't hit. Until the elect is sealed, okay, the elect 144,000 chosen men. All right, it says, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. See, so this wind is is destined to hurt the earth, okay, and the sea, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in the forehead. See. So the destruction is not going to come until the 144,000 chosen men from the foundation of the earth is sealed. Okay, so this is why we're right here and we're, 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 we're persuading men, not persuading women. Okay, and the Most High is going to have uh, mercy on whom he's going to have mercy on uh, for the, uh, the elect one-third. Okay. But we're out here to persuade men. This is why you don't see, uh, well, uh, with, with, with uh, Great Millstone, because Great Millstone has the correct doctrine. But this is why you don't see women out on the, on the highways and hedges. Okay, this is why you don't see uh, uh, men trying to, uh, you know, we, we, we teach women, you know what I'm saying? But th that we're not out here for women. All right, we're out here to persuade men. Okay, because we know that once the 144,000 uh, is is sealed, this it, this this it's a wrap. All right, so uh, it says, knowing uh, therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the heavenly Father, and I trust also are uh, are made manifest in your consciousness. All right, so we're we're out here we're out here for uh, to persuade men. All right. So we're not, we're not, we're not, uh, you know, um, out here for, uh, to showboat or to, uh, you know, uh, do all these things, man. We're out here to preach the gospel so we can get the hell up out of here, man. Not try to sell, uh, 
you know, um, fringe clothes, uh, you know, overpriced uh, Bibles, you know what I'm saying? Selling you all this type of stuff that doesn't need, that that's not needed for salvation, man. All right. We trying to do the work quickly as possible to get the hell up out of here, man. That's, that's, and that's the point. First Corinthians nine and, uh, 16. It says, for though I preach the gospel, I was like, yeah. It says, for though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. Okay, because we're out here just to preach the gospel, man. We don't we don't glory of any any of anything, man. Okay. Paul said that uh he considered all things done so that way he may win Hamashiach Yahushat. Alright, so we don't glory of anything that we used to do in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of brothers, you know what I'm saying was uh was doing well in the world you know what i'm saying but what when you, what happens when you when you when you get converted by your shy you you forget all that stuff man we don't glory about that stuff what we do we preach the gospel now okay to persuade men so we can get the hell up out of here all right because we know the terror that's why that's why uh i started out with that precept because we know the terror of the lord man all right through studying so it says, for though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me, yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. See, so destruction is unto me if I preach not the gospel. And what do you do when you preach the gospel? You persuade men. Okay, you uh, you try to uh, you you try to um, make sure that these people know what's going on. So that way, you know what? Let's go to uh. Uh, Ezekiel 33 and verse uh, 7 it says so thou so thou O son of man I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Yashara all right and what is a watchman what is a watchman a watchman make sure it's like a, a safety valve Okay, back in the day, you had watchmen that set up on the uh, on the towers on, on the uh, towers to see, uh, you know, uh, incoming invasions or whatnot. Um, you know, to to make uh, they, they sat on those high places to make sure that the danger wasn't coming. Okay, or was coming, whatever. And then the, the, those watchmen had uh, horns or trumpets. Okay, that they would blow and they would they it was they would sound the trumpet or sound the horn. And to let the people know that's inside of the walls of Jer uh, Jerusalem that danger was coming. Okay, so the uh, the prophets are watchmen unto the house of Israel, man. Okay, we're we out here to let you know. We're persuading men. All right. It says, therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. See, so we're out here giving a warning from Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Okay, see, so it says, therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth. So we we hear the we hear the word of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man, through the through the Spirit, through the uh, through the Comforter. And what do we do? And we warn, we warn the people, we warn the house of Israel from on on uh, we're we're, we're the middleman. Okay. It says, "When thou say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou doest not speak to warn the wicked from his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand." See, we're not out here to be, uh, uh, you know, to be um, responsible for for other people's uh, actions, man. All right, we're gonna warn you, so what? We can get the we can get the blood off our hands, man. But if we don't do it, what happens? It's, it's going to be our fault. Because we know better. Okay? So that man that that, that uh, doesn't want to turn from his wickedness, that man is going to die in his iniquity, but the Most High and Yahweh Shai is going to re require his blood on our hands. Alright, it says verse 9, Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked from his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity. See, the same thing's going to happen. Okay, if you warn him or if you don't warn him, he's gonna he's still gonna die. But if you do warn him, but thou has delivered thy soul. 
Okay, that's what we're out here to do to, to, to deliver our soul by w warning the people of the co of the coming destruction, man. All right, because th this is uh, one thing I always go into. Um, Proverbs eleven, and we're gonna jump down to verse uh, thirty. It says, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. See? So we're out here to persuade men. So when we persuade men, we win, we win souls. And what happens when you win souls? Uh, let's go to uh, uh, Luke, I think it's 13. No, it's like it. Um, Luke 7, I think it's Luke 17. Let's see. Okay, let's let me just type it in. Um, Because the scripture said to be joined in heaven over, over uh, one sin of that sin of that repentance. Luke 15. It's like here. Yeah. Luke 15. Let's let's go to verse 10. It says, Likewise, I say unto you, uh, there is joy in the presence of the angels of the heavenly father over one sinner that repenteth. All right, so he that winneth souls is wise. Why? Because it brings it brings joy to the angels of the heavenly Father to over one that that uh, for a sinner that repenteth. So we out here to win souls, man. Okay, so this is why we out here to warn the wicked of his wicked way. All right, we're out here to persuade men, knowing the terror of the Lord. All right. Um, let's go to Titus. Uh, chapter 3. In verse 10 it says, A man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject. Okay, so let's look at look at let's look look, look up that word heretic real quick. Strong's G one forty one Hereticas Hereticas Alright uh, It says fitted or able to uh, take or choose a thing. Alright, basically uh, being lukewarm, not able to uh, understand what's going on, okay? Uh uh, uh, fa uh fascist Factious, Salakia, Fascius, a follower of a false doctrine, all right? And a lot of two-thirds are followers of false doctrines, man. Okay? Let's see, what else do I have? Okay, a follower of false doctrines. Yeah, so, I mean, a lot of, a lot of Jake is follower of, of false doctrines. Okay, so it says, um... It says, a man that is a heretic, a follower of false doctrines, all right, after the first and second admonition, reject. So when you are, so when, so a person that's a follower of false doctrine, when you try to warn them the first and second time, hey man, reject them, man. That's why we're not out here, you know, the Howard Shots was talked about uh, casting your uh, 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 pearls before swine, okay? So we're not out here to, to, uh, to, uh, you know, keep trying to persuade men if they don't want to listen. All right, we are here to, to get the blood off our hands and move on, man. All right, because because in, you know, real quick, um, let's go ahead. real quick. First uh, Corinthians uh, chapter three. And verse. Seven, it says so. Need uh, so then neither 
is he that planted anything. See, we're, we're the planter. Okay, we're out here to plant the seed. We're out here to win souls. We're out here to persuade men. Okay, it says neither he that waters. Okay, so no matter how many times that you try to water the the unbeliever, the the man of the uh, that that's that's following the false doctrine. Okay, it's up to the heavenly Father to give that increase. All right, so this is why you're not supposed to be out here, you know, um, trying to persuade somebody that's that's not going to listen. Okay. That's because it's, it's up to the Most High to give that increase. It's up for the Most High to, to and Yahweh Shai to uh, bring them out of the darkness into the light. All we are here to do is to is to warn them, okay? After the first and second admonition, man. After the first and second um, reasoning, okay? Reject, okay? Because Yahweh Shai said, um, I think it's in Matthew 10. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. In Matthew 10, um, let's see. Yeah, kind of. Matthew 10 and, uh, and 11, it says, And into whatsoever city or town you shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy. Okay? So we're out here to find who's worthy, man. That's why after the first and second trying to persuade this the person that's follow a uh, follow of a false doctrine, we're supposed to reject that person, man. All right, and it's up to the Most High to give them that increase. It's up to the Most High to uh, and Yahweh Shah to to give them that that understanding, okay? To give them that that spark to keep to uh, to do the research. All right, it says so. We so we're out here to to find who's worthy, man. The elect. It says, and there abide till you go thence, and when you come into an house, salute it, okay. It says, and if the house be worthy, okay, let your peace come upon it. But if if it if it be not worthy, let your peace return unto you. Reject them. You see? So let's reject them. See, we're out here, man. We're not out here to to, to yank chains, to to beg nobody to do this. No, man. We're out here to give them the word, and 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 uh, you know, and and that's that, man. Okay, because the Most High is going to give, the, and uh, Yahweh Bashim is going to give the increase. Okay, so it says, uh, if 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 this house be not worthy, let your peace return unto you. All right, and this is the point. It says, and, whos and whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when you depart from that house or that city, what shake off the dust of your feet, man. Okay, don't worry about them people, man. This, this is what the two thirds are for. Now we all have people that that's that uh you know uh that's a that's a heretic, you know a, a follower, of false doctrine, an unbeliever, okay in our families, all right. But when you keep uh, admonishing them after the first and second time, you're you're going against the doctrine, man. Let them people alone, man. Okay. It's up to Yahweh Bashim Yashai to bring those people out of the out of the darkness. Not you. We're just vessels speaking on behalf of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Okay? So a man that is an unbeliever after the first and second admonition reject. Man, wipe off the dust of your, shake off the dust of your feet, man. And move on. Why? It says, Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Okay? And we're using this as as a uh, um, as a as a uh, as a as a uh, as a smaller form of what's what what uh, you know uh, we're talking about because back in the back in this time you know the uh, the uh, the disciples were going from city to city you know going for to the lost sheep of ho the house of Israel okay but now we can do this you know we can see our families we we can do this through the internet. Uh, everything like that. So now we can do this quickly. Okay. It says knowing that he he that is such is what subverted. Okay. Meaning you can't you can't change him. Okay. And sinneth being condemned of himself. And let's look up this word subverted. Strong's G sixteen twelve, extrafo, extrafo. 
All right, so it says to turn, to twist out, to tear up, to turn inside out, invert. It says this is a definition to change for the worse, pervert, corrupt. See, these people are corrupted, man. All right, this is why we're not we're not we're not going to cast pearls before swine. What's that? Matthew uh, five, I think it is. Let's look. Let's get it. Slacky. Matthew 7, so like you. Uh, Matthew 7 and verse 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Okay? So we're not out here to to uh, to, to uh, give this knowledge to the to the heathen, the dogs, okay? We're out here to give the judgment to the to the uh, the, the, the judgment to the heathen, right? But we're not out here to try to uh, to convert the heathen. Okay, because the heathen can't be converted. So you can't so we're not supposed to give that which is holy unto the dogs. Okay? So when when so you got these some you have some camps that believe that that the that the other nations can make it. But Yahweh Shai said, give not that which is holy, okay, unto the dogs. The dogs are the other nations. Alright, it says, Neither cast ye your pearls before swine. Okay, and a, it's, a lot of our people act like swine, man. Act like uh uh, act like act like the heathen, man. All right. It says, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. See, so they're just going to toss the word aside, man, because you you casting this have this 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 heavenly knowledge before people that are that are uh, heretics, man. All right. Okay. So and people that are that are subverted. All right, people that are corrupt. That's what that's. That's why we're not supposed to cast our pearls before swine. All right, let's go to um, uh, Romans three. Romans three and three. What if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the heavenly Father without effect? You see, so we when we're out here, okay, and we we're, we're out here to persuade men. Some are not. I mean, most are not going to believe. All right. And they say, well, I, I believe in uh, Egyptology. I believe in Islam. It says, shall the unbelief make the faith of the Heavenly Father without a prayer? The Most High forbid. So it doesn't matter what, what they think, man. We're out here to get the blood off our hands, man. All right? And we're not going to waste our time with people with unbelievers. All right? The Most High forbid. Yea, let the Heavenly Father be true and every man a liar. See? So the Most High is going to be true every time, man. A hundred times out of a hundred. But every man is going to be a liar, man, because these got these people don't know, know the the terror of the of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man. Okay, as it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. All right, so we're going to be justified in the sayings of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man. Okay, so that way, most high willing, we have the mercy when we're uh, that we can be overcome when not when when uh, when judgment comes. All right, let's go to Second Ezra. Second Ezra's fifteen. Second Ezra's fifteen and verse three. It says, "Fear not the imaginations against thee." See the imaginations, man. The the uh the thoughts the thoughts of the of the minds of the of the foolish man the thoughts of the minds of a heretic a follower of, of false doctrine okay the thoughts of the minds that are subverted man the ones that are corrupt okay fear not the imaginations against thee let not the incredulity the incredulity meaning the unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee okay because when when, when the men are out, out there on the highways, highways and hedges you're going to have a lot of people that are speaking up against uh, the prophets. Why? Because of their imaginations. All right? Because of their unbelief, their incredulity. All right? So we're not, we don't fear that, man. We are here to get the blood off our hands, man. It says, 
the verse four for all the unfaithful what shall die in their unfaithfulness you see and that's the judgment for for being unfaithful man you know for being a follower of a, of, of a false doctrine okay because this is why Yahweh Bashim Hashai has woken up the prophets in the last days to to uh to warn the people man So Jeremiah 44 and verse 4. It says, How be it I sent unto you all my servants the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. Because we're trying to we're trying to persuade men. Alright, but we, we we study to uh so that we we can know what Yahweh Bashim Hashai wants. Because why? Let's go to real quick, let's go to Baruch. Salakia. Let's go to Baruch uh, chapter 4. Chapter 4 and verse 4 says, O, o Yasharala, happy are we for the things that are pleasing unto the Heavenly Father are made known unto us. See, so that's why we, we study, we, uh, you know what I'm saying, we fast, we do these things to understand the word, man. So that way we can go out to the highways and hedges and persuade men to, to tell them what the things that are pleasing to the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? The things that are pleasing to the Heavenly Father are made known unto us. To us is the, is the prophets returning these in, in, the, in the last days. Okay? So we, 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 we're out here to, to tell you these things, man. Okay? To persuade men, to win souls. Because we know the terror of the Lord. We know that the terror of the Lord says that if we don't warn these people... We're gonna, we're gonna, the blood that, that, uh, we don't warn them is on our hands. All right. So that's why brothers make these, uh, video epistles, man. Okay. That's why brothers are out here on the highways and hedges. That's why brothers make their bodies a living sacrifice. That's why brothers, you know, uh, sacrifice time with their families and, their, and, and stuff like that. Because we know the terror of the Lord, man. All right. Um, so see, that's why we're not we're, we're out here to, to to tell these people don't do these, don't do these abominable things, man. All right, it says, but they hearken not. You see, so you're gonna have most people, two thirds of our people, that they're not gonna hearken, man. All right, nor incline their ears to turn from their wickedness to burn incense to other gods. Okay. So back in the day, you were they were burning incense to other gods, but right now, in in the modern day times, how how. Are we burn? How are people burning incense into other guys by by doing these false philosoph uh, philosophies, man? Being a heretic, a follower of, of, of false doctrine. Okay, this is how we're burning. How they're burning incense unto other guys in the modern times. All right, uh, verse six. Wherefore my fury and my anger was poured forth and was kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, man. All right, and that's the southern kingdom. And the northern kingdom. Okay, it says, and they are wasted and desolate as as at this day. So see, as at this day, we we are still uh, wasted and desolate, man. We still bugged out, man. Believing what we thinking is, is right. All right, let's go to um, um, Jeremiah eleven real quick. And verse uh, 14, it says, therefore, pray not for this people, man. Okay. So we're not out here for, for the whole, the whole, uh, you know, nation of Israel, man. Okay. We're not out here. We're out here for the elect, man. We're out here for the ones that's, 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 it's not going to take two or three times, man. Okay. We warn them, and then we, we get the blood off our hands, and it's up to, it's up for the heavenly Father to uh, give them that increase, man. We're not out here to uh, to beg nobody to change, man. All right. So this is why the, the Most High told Jeremiah, therefore pray not for this people, man. Neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble, okay? And that links up with, uh, what's that, uh, Proverbs chapter 1. 
Okay, you we, we ain't gonna go to it for the second time, but that's that's the point where we're not out here to uh for all of Israel. Okay, we're out here. We're not praying for for every everybody, man. We pray for the elect. You know, so this is the, this is the the distinction, man. Okay, we persuade men. Yeah, we we uh you know the people that like you know uh, we used to be in the spirit. You know of uh you know trying to get people to come and listen but now hey man the the, the the we we gather people by the word man you know once we uh you know we got to the to the uh to the elders of great millstone and we we saw the the correct way to do things all right we let man man you know we preach you know people stop some people you know take heed you know what i'm saying but the majority of the people man keep walking all right that's cool you know, it don't matter, man. We are, we're not out here to do that, man. We're out here to persuade you if you if, if the Most High puts on your spirit to, to stop and listen. All right? So this is why we don't pray for, for two-thirds of our people, man. All right? What, what, what do we do? We do this. Uh, Isaiah 58 and verse 1. It says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression in the house of Yaquab, their sins. Okay, so that's what we are here to do, man. And whether you whether you want to listen or not, you know, uh, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to cast our pearls before swine. That's just wasting time, man. For something, you know what I'm saying? Wasting time for somebody that actually needs it. All right, it says Isaiah 33 and verse 14, the sinners of Zion are afraid, fearlessness, our slacky fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. Okay, so this is this is this is this is the wrong with uh with Jake, man. Okay, fearfulness has su has surprised the hypocrites. That's what's gonna happen in that day. All right, when when people think, oh well, what I what I'm what I'm doing is right, you know, what I'm saying to to hell with those guys that's on the street corners preaching, and then. When when their their the fear falleth upon them, you know, and the and the destruction come of nigh, they're gonna be the ones that's that's gonna be looking for the for the prophets, man. Okay, because in uh what's that uh so real quick, um Sirach, uh chapter one, right? Sirach twenty uh Ecclesiastic chapter one, and verse twenty nine it says, "Be not a hypocrite." Okay, be not a hypocrite in the sight of men, and take a heed to what thou speakest. See, so these, a lot of these men are, are going to be, uh, are going to be hypocrites. All right, because you got, you got a lot of, Israel, you got some Israelites that don't believe in Yahweh Shai. You know, you got, you got some Israelites that, uh, that um don't believe that the, uh, that the MOB is the RFID microchip. You know, I mean, you gonna, I mean, and that's gonna be a fearful thing, man. Because why? Because they're hypocrites, man. All right. It says, "Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire?" All right. This is this is that 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 nuclear fire. Who among us shall dwell with the everlasting burning? See, see, it's gonna feel like it's an everlasting burning, man. With that that uh that nuclear capability. All right. It says, "He that walketh righteously, and speaketh uprightly, he that despiseth the gain of of, of oppressions, he uh, that shaketh his hand from holding of bribes." That stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood, and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil. What's going to happen to that man? All right, he shall dwell on high. You see, so when you when you understand and walk righteously and speaketh uprightly, that's that's the point. To to persuade men, you have to speak uprightly, man. Speak the correct doctrine, and in order to speak the correct doctrine, you got to have the, the correct doctrine. And how do you and how do you have the correct doctrine when you have the correct elders, man? Okay. It says he shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given to him. His water shall be sure. See, so that goes with Isaiah 65. That his servants shall eat, but they shall be hungry. Okay. The hypocrites shall be hungry, man. The ones that believe in themselves. The ones that are followers of false doctrine. Okay. It says, thine eyes shall see the king and his beauty. And who is that king? The king is Yahweh Shai in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, because the elect, 
that's going to be uh, that's going to be dwelling on high, that's going to be good, that ha that's going to have a place of defense. Okay, is what is he that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly? All right. But the sinners of Zion, see, the sinners of Zion are afraid, man. When the elect are not going to be afraid, because the most the most high. It says, it says in uh, uh, 1 Timothy uh, chapter 1 and verse 7, it says that the Most High has not given us the spirit of fear. Okay, the elect is not going to have the spirit of fear, fear. But the sinners of Zion are afraid, man. Fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. Okay? It says, uh, let's go back. It says, Thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty. The ones that walk rightly and speak the brightly, the elect, the ones that are going to be dwelling on high and have a place of defense. It says, they shall behold the land that is very far off. And that land that's far off is the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Because it's not given for everybody. Uh, let's go to uh, Galatians chapter 1. And verse 10. It says, for, uh, for do I now persuade men or the heavenly father? Uh, or do I, or do I seek to please men? Yet if I yet please men, should uh, should not the uh, I should not be the servant of of, of Yahweh Shai. You see, so when, if you please men, you're not going to be the servant of Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai said that if they if they, if they have if they have hated you, know that they have hated me first. Okay, so we're not out here to please men. Okay, we're out here to what persuade men. All right, because we know the terror of Yahweh Bashi Shai. All right, is that is is that simple? Okay, we're gonna wrap it up. Let me get a couple more. Um, uh, Colossians chapter uh, one. Let's go down to uh, verse twenty-six. It says, "Even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest unto his saints." Okay, so the mystery of the scriptures. Have been shut up until now, okay? Because when you read real quick, when you read Daniel, uh, Daniel chapter twelve, uh, Daniel chapter twelve, verse four, it says, "But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end." See, we're in the time of the end right now, okay? Now, why did Daniel? Why did he have Bashim Shah tell Daniel to shut up the the words until the end it says money shall run to and fro and what and knowledge shall be increased okay so now we're able to, to break these things down now the elders have came came on the scene to give us that understanding okay because technology has increased knowledge has increased understanding has increased okay so now this is why the mystery have been hid from ages and generations, but is now made manifest to his saints. And the saints, in this in this uh, particular uh, instance, is talking about the elect. Okay, the elect hundred forty four thousand, because the whole hundred forty four thousand chosen men are going to be teachers. Okay, government, the government, the body that's going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Okay, and uh, and Yahweh Shai is going to be the King of Kings, and King David is. Uh, is going to be our earthly king. Okay. It says to whom the heavenly father made known. What is the riches of his glory. Of the glory unto the mystery among the Gentiles. Which is Hamashiach and you. The hope of glory. Okay. So this is what the most high is doing. Is making it known what the riches of the glory. Okay. It says uh, whom we preach warning every man. See we're warning every man. Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. All right, and teaching every man in all wisdom. All right, that we may present present every man perfect in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So see, when we warn the men, we're in uh in when we warn men, we're warning them according to what is going to make them perfect. Okay, in Yahweh Shah. And that's what's going to that's what's going to get them uh, delivered. Okay. It says verse twenty nine. Warn too. I I also labor, right, striving according to his working, 
which worketh in me mightily. See, the, the spirit of Yahweh Shemeshai is working in the elect mightily, man. That's why they brothers is out here doing the work, man, diligently. All right. And let's go one more. Uh, let's go to Acts chapter 28. Acts 28 and verse 23. It says, and when they had appointed him a day, there came many uh, to him unto his lodging. Okay. It says, to to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of heaven, persuading them. Okay. So this is Paul persuading, uh, a persuading men. Okay, persuading them concerning Yahweh Shai. It says, both out of the law of Moses and of the prophets, from morning till evening. So Paul was putting in that work, man. Alright, it says, and some believed the things which were spoken, and some believed not. Alright, so that's what that's what's gonna happen. Some's gonna believe and some's not gonna believe. And that's all in the power of Yahweh Bashim Ashai, man. Because everybody's not meant to wake up. Alright, real quick. Let's go to, let's go to um Romans eleven, real quick, just to uh close it out real quick. Because it's not meant for everybody to wake up, okay? Uh, Romans 11 and verse 7, What then, Yasharallah, have not obtained that which he seeketh for? But what the election have obtained it, the elect, the 144,000 chosen men and the righteous one-third, okay, to whom the, mo the Most High will have mercy on. Okay, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. So the elect are going to are gonna understand and do it and the rest were blinded. Okay? According as it is written, the Most High have given them spirit of slumber. Okay? Eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. See? So, this is why you have Jake out here bugged out, man. Alright? So, we, we persuade, man. We warn, man. We get the blood off our hands, and that's it. Alright? We're not out here to beg nobody to, to, uh, to do this, man. Alright? So, Most High, Most High Willis Lesson was uh, edifying to the elect. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Ha Hakodash, Lavalam Yam. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I want to say Kwame Sharala, Ababa Ball, Shalom.